after having worked on you know three Star Wars movies pretty consecutively, it was interrupted by Raiders and Dragonslayer. It was time to move on, and there wasn't anything to move on to, really. He just kind of like got, was was absolutely completely depleted, and I think at that point he was kind of like done uh, with working at ILM. And so uh, it was an opportunity for me to do. What I kind of needed to do was to get what kind of drove me into all of this as a kid out of my system by making my own short dinosaur movie. That's when you decided to do Prehistoric Beast in, in the garage. I was so obsessed with all of that stuff in King Kong when I was a kid, I had to do something to make it go away. <laughs> and so that's what Prehistoric Beast was, was actually you know, putting a nail in that coffin and saying, um, well, the title is is a line from King Kong. So I made this 16 millimeter short called Prehistoric Beast that I thought I could sell to educational channels because it would be that's the kind of thing I'd like to see when I was a kid. When Phil told me he was doing Prehistoric Beast, uh, I thought, oh, that's interesting, but why? It seemed like a step, kind of a step backwards or something. You know, I'm still working at ILM where we're just like pushing the envelope technically all the time. That's not where Phil's interests were. He was going for an aesthetic. When it was over, I it just went like, Phil, it was absolutely the right choice to do that because you know nobody has any idea what you have in your mind. <laughs>